What's good, y'all? It's AlecMac111, and today we have, as you can tell by the title, a Novridge Sniper Rifle Unboxing. I've literally wanted one of these since when they came out. I was actually young enough at the time when they came out. I was like, yo, mom and dad, you should lend me like 500 bucks so I could buy one. Unfortunately, they said no, so I couldn't get one. But I finally got one. I actually bought this entire package off of a guy on eBay. So he was selling his entire collection. I do this a lot. I buy their collections, and so I bought this off of his collection. And so this is his entire, like he was like a sniper. There's a pistol in here, really cool belt set. Up. Um, but before we get into that last video, I dropped the hoodies. So in this merch shelf right below, it's below the description, it'll show merch shelf and you can get hoodies. They're awesome. These are like 30 bucks and they are so, 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 so soft. Um, watch this last video. I'll throw it up in the card. Um, it'll show you all the people that have one. I have a bunch of my friends that were just sitting on the couch and we just get the little video of it, which is really cool. But like 80 of my friends have bought one. Um, and for those of you that buy them, if you guys get them, send it to me and I will be trying to put those in some of the videos here and there. But let's get to the box, bro. This box, look at, just look at the size real quick. I think they shipped it through FedEx. eBay charged me like $81 for shipping, which kind of sucks, but I think it came from Florida. Also, while we're on this, I get videos. I, uh, you saw US Airsoft actually gave me a huge shout out for one of my big unboxing videos. And I saw some of the comments on his pictures were like, I bet Alec just buys his stuff and then relists it. I literally have new stuff every single time. So there's no way that it's like, oh, I can reuse this. I do get some guns that are kind of similar, but that's stupid. I don't redo my stuff or reuse it or fake anything because I ain't that hoe. Uh... Don't hit the fan, don't hit the fan. Okay. SSG 24, we're gonna do that last just because it's the best, be most beautiful. There's the pistol. Oh, bro. That is so nice. All right, so first thing in this package is the lovely, beautiful Tokyo Marine 5.1 high cap, but this is just a stock one, I believe. These are literally my favorite pistols on the market. You guys know that. All right, so this is just a stock TM 5.1. It looks like he did tape the outside. Did a really good job on packaging all this stuff. That's a lot to ship. So just the manual looks like it's there. Um, he did include a, I think this is the Airsoft Innovations propane adapter. I think that's the AI one. It's a plastic tan one. He included the gas blowback oil as well. Bottom rail. I'll show some close-ups on some of the things as well. And then here is the pistol. So I have actually built a lot of TM 5.1 high cabs in my day. I really like them. They make arguably the best stock pistol platform. Actually, I wouldn't even say it's arguable. They're literally the best stock pistol platform because you can just upgrade so much. It looks like it's in pretty dang good shape. There's not a whole lot of wear on the lower and upper. You can kind of tell once you see enough of these guns. Um, and I have probably had close to 30 TM 5.1 high cabas in my time. Up next with the pistol is a Serpa holster. It's a Blackhawk Serpa holster. This is modified from the high cap of 1911. Um, I believe these are 1911 holsters and then he's sanded down some of the stuff so that it can fit the 5.1 and it does actually lock in. It's a little bit tight, but that's pretty nice. I used to run these actually when I started Airsoft, like when I was like young, a lot younger, probably like 15-ish, I would run one of these with a really cool, I actually could throw a picture up now. I used to run that and I had like a drop leg, which was really cool and it was like a chest rig. It was one of the coolest chest rigs. I think it was like a rare LBT multicam chest rig. I don't remember exactly what number denomination it was, but it was super cool. And then once I got a little bit older, I stopped running setups on my leg. I had a Marine friend that was really cool and he said, once you start rolling around and stuff, he said, I just stopped running anything and he's in the legitimate military. He's like a Marine and, and crazy. And then he went into PMC stuff. And so he did like presidential security when Obama was in office, which was super cool. So I was like, Hey, I should probably listen to this guy. And he probably has some good things to say. Hey, yo, stay strapped or get clapped. Even the chubbies, you got to be able to operate sometimes. Part two of three of the unboxing is a cry precision battle belt. And this is actually something I'm probably going to use in my real AR-15. This is like the, I think this is an H harness that actually goes on the top. I believe this is Condor, which you can totally tell the Condor multicam pattern versus the real multicam pattern as far as just how much lighter it is and how it's legit. Um, but this is a cry precision battle belt and it is super, super, super nice. And he has it outfitted um, with some pouches on here. I'll probably go over each of those individually. So these are three Zenturion open mag taco pouches. I've actually never heard of Zenturion before. I know they're a legit real brand. They're expensive. I looked at how expensive some of the pouches are, but there are three open top taco pouches right here, like the open top. They kind of look like the HSGI ones. On the other side are Zenturion pistol mag pouches. So I have, I don't know if he ever ran six pouches, but technically he could be able to run six pistol mags if he wanted to. He's got three here, and these are the Zenturion, um, the ones with the strap over top, which are similar build quality. Definitely feel like ridiculously high quality pouches. You can tell based on the build quality with pouches a lot, and there's one on this back side if he wants to do like a weak side reload as well. You can actually see here as well with the Blackhawk holster, they need some sort of retention up top usually to help it connect. So you can see right there that it just kind of slides in, which is really nice that 
Blackhawk kind of does this. Blackhawk has some, re there's some really, really incredible like high quality holsters and this will lock in. And so this will lock in, it'll be on your belt and then this will be on your holster in your thigh like I showed earlier. Here are three Fly SSG mag pouches. So these are for, I would guess he used them for the sniper mags. I don't exactly know what they stand for, the SSG stands for, but he's got two in an OD. I think that's OD or khaki. I think it's, it's like, that's a like khaki, I think. I think that's khaki. And then there's a multi-cam here and these are the same style of pouches. And I'm guessing this is where he put his sniper magazines or maybe like grenades or speed loaders. And then in the back, is a Blackhawk utility pouch. This is, he said this was like a Blackhawk admin pouch. So just kind of, if you want to put a lot of stuff, that actually has a ton of room, kind of use it as a dump pouch as well, it looks like. This is a pretty nice pouch. And you can tell all of this is just ridiculously high gear. This is a medium, which is perfect because I am a medium belt wise. And then up here in the front, you can see that other connector. So the two connectors for the drop leg will go up and split, which is really nice setup because then you can kind of run it high on your thigh if you want to but let's get into the ssg24 because that's what y'all here for and it is also what i am here for i have actually i don't even know if i've ever held one of these in person to be honest i am really excited for this i i've i literally i don't think i've ever even played with one in ohio it's unfortunate because a lot of the field because a lot of the fields in ohio are not accepting of like more expensive sniper rifles with a higher feet per second because they have specific strict limits where someone like Novridge can go to fields and have a, uh, like people trust him. In Ohio, there are some, there's very few that it's like, hey, if you're old enough and you're wise enough, okay, you can't shoot anybody under 100 feet. Dude, this thing's actually ridiculously light though. I know Novridge in his videos was talking about how light this is, but that's the first thing I noticed more than anything. I love the fluted barrel on this. I think these look super cool and it's actually pretty thick diameter wise. That is a big barrel. It's definitely really wide. But for how big it is, I know Novich really focuses on light stuff so that he can kind of move around and inter interact a lot and so he doesn't can just kind of shoot. But this is like ridiculously, ridiculously light, which is really, really surprising because I figured it'd be like not super heavy, but I didn't figure or anticipate that it'd be this light. Here is another high cap of mag. This is, they don't have the residue on this one. So I'm guessing it was just something with the shipping, but these are both other two TM mags. TM mags are so awesome. They're way high, more high quality than the WE mags for high cappas and just last a lot longer. And you can tell they're a real TM mag based on all the trademarks on there. TM usually throws their stuff on there because they know build quality is pretty impre incredible. Um, I will get into this a little bit more in depth, but I want to show some of the other stuff. So this is Elite Force Dead Rag. I've actually had one of these before. They're really cool. You kind of pull it and then put it on and then like have it on your helmet. That's why I ran. I ran the back of my helmet so I could just pull it out. But it did. Sometimes people still shot at me. I mean, that kind of happens anyway. But because it get like, I, I put it on the top or something or it'd go down here or then it'd go in the back. So I got shot from the other directions where it didn't show. And then it does include, these are the patches it looks like, you include the speed loader, Allen wrench, the Novridge patches, which I think are super cool. Um, looks like Novridge signed that too, which is pretty cool. And then he did include four magazines, which is awesome because you're gonna need this. If you're sniping and you're going any extended gameplay at all, you're gonna need more mags, especially with as many people as Novridge shoots. Um, and then it also finally came, I believe this is the M190 spring, M150 is installed and he bought an M190, which is almost absurd. And that's gonna be like, pushing like six, 650, I think is what, I'm pretty sure it's close to 650 is what the M190 is. And you can tell that is a very rigid spring. And then he has some 0.46 BBs here as well, which I'm really excited to shoot. These feel incredibly heavy. That's kind of crazy how, this is literally like, if you use a 0.2, this weighs double what a 0.2 gram BB does and then some. That's how Novice is able to shoot. So high quality for long range and get some stuff. But let's go back into the rifle. So it does look like it has an adjustable stock. Like I said, I've never actually held one of these before. This is so this is my first time messing with it. The rubber butt pad is actually pretty nice. Feels like pretty good quality. You can kind of adjust it whether you're shorter or longer based on that screw there. I have watched videos on this. So obviously I know a little bit like about the gun. The grip is actually pretty thick. I have bigger hands. I'm like 5'11", and so the grip is a little bit bigger, which I really like because I don't like small grips. Um, that pull actually feels pretty uh, pretty good. It's smooth, smooth action. He said he only used this in one or two games. You got your functional safety, everything like that. And then this is just a cheap scope, I believe. I think this, he said this was like a Swiss Army scope. I'm curious if it's still sighted in with shipping. I'm going to go test it um, and hopefully use it and hopefully find some game in Indiana I can play. And then the hop-up finally is up there. But, man, this is a cool, cool little rifle. I am really excited to use this. You can see up there, I'll show in the trades. It says Novridge SSU 24 z 51 f6 which is really nice but these things can shoot crazy crazy far and that is what i'm the most excited to mess around with slash test but this has been alec mac one on one thanks for watching this unboxing video guys you guys are awesome i will see you soon the unboxing videos have been blowing up those first ones the ones i did for christmas 
Um, that video is blowing up. I mean, you guys can see how many packages I had. That was like a month of me just waiting until I got home from, from trips this summer, cliff jumping and a bunch of stuff. Um, you guys are awesome though. I thank you guys for the support. This has been really doing really good and I'm really excited to stay consistent with uploads for 2020. This is Ballad Mac 101. I'll see you guys later.